Concerns tonight about the stability of the nation's food supply chain. According to the Bladen County Health Department, at least two local Smithfield Foods employees tested positive for COVID-19. That's on the heels of a Smithfield plant in South Dakota shutting down temporarily because of its COVID-19 cases. CBS 17's Kayla Strayer is live getting answers about how this could impact our food supply. Kayla. Yeah, so right now the plant is operating as normal. The company says they're taking extra steps to protect employees, but several of the employees that I've been talking to say they do not think enough is being done, especially after those recent confirmed positive COVID-19 cases. So this is what the employees are telling me they want. They want more personal protective gear for everyone. They want more tests available, and they say that workers have not been able to stay six feet apart. The Smithfield food plant in South Dakota, again, had to temporarily shut down after an outbreak there. So could the same thing happen here? We took that question to a supply chain management professor at NC State University. He says he doesn't think the Tar Heel plant will have to shut down, but even if it does temporarily, we will still have meat. It just might be a different brand or a different cut than you're used to. There's huge pressure on them to keep producing, um, you know, given the escalated demand for uh, core products and, and other proteins. So there may be some uh, replacements or substitutions that people are going to have to make in the short run. We're going to hear more from that professor coming up live at 6. Meanwhile, the company saying no one is available to talk about this today. Reporting live in Bladen County, Kayla Strayer, CBS 17 News.